guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back once again to Solid Gold. Today I'm here at the Orlando Repticon. I'm so excited to head inside and check it out. I've been to some other reptile shows in the past, but never to Repticon, so I don't really know what to expect, and I'm excited to go in and check it out. Look at these crested geckos, so cute! I'm looking for a male right oh now. Oh my I have gosh. A right now. I have a big We've got a little baby female panther chameleon. So cute. A little bit bigger male panther chameleon. Check out these guys. They're so cute. Look at all the Pac-Man frogs. There's so many. Okay. I didn't even know they came in these yellow colors and the orange. That's really cool. There's lots of leopard geckos too. Oh my gosh, you guys, if I didn't already get a leopard gecko in the mail this week, I would definitely be getting one here. Look at them. Skink. Oh my god, I love skinks. Their skin is so soft and smooth like a snake. Look at that cutie. Oh my goodness. So cute. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm here at NGM Reptiles with Doug Jorgensen. Doug Jorgensen. You want to tell me a little bit about your snakes? Do you breed them? Uh, I breed, yes. I breed ball pythons, boas, and Angolan pythons. Working on a couple other, you know, morphs out there. Uh, mainly, right now, we work with a lot of clown stuff. Uh, Ultra mouth, heading into the sunset gene. But I mainly have a fish channel, so most of my viewers will be a little bit new to snakes. Okay. Can you tell us like what are the basics of the color types that you're mentioning? All right, here is a yellow belly gene, all right? Okay. Yellow belly male here. I mean tail yellow belly by some of the flamings on the side here. Yep. And by the granted on the bottom. Okay. The granted like type. Okay, yep. And Color's then so if pretty. you breed this <laughs> with another yellow belly, you will end up with a, what you consider is called an ivory. You will get this. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Do these sometimes have a lavender hue to them or is that a totally uh, they can. different? No, they okay. can. Yes, <laughs> there actually is a gene that's called lavender. Okay, yeah, so I've seen that before. similar to the albinos and stuff like that. So Candinos. Candinos have lavender in them. Uh, some of the banana stuff, especially when they're younger, have more lavender. That's so beautiful. You know, that's part of the reason why I love coming to shows like this, because I get to interact with people who like different kinds of animals than me and learn about them. Oh, no, and once you dive in, you realize what a huge world there is behind oh, no. and People everything. don't realize in this kind of field, it just, it just expands and keeps going. Right. New genes, new morphs. And there's always something new to new. learn. Yes, this is a banana female. These are the ones that always appeal to me. I like the lavender with the yellow. Yeah, and these guys get freckles as they age. Awesome. So the older they get, the more the black freckles come out on them. Can I hold it? Yep. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, hi, cutie. <laughs> How old is this one? That one, she is probably about six months old. Oh my gosh. She looks curious. 
Yes, ball pythons are very docile. They're best for first-time snakes. They have the most awesome little snake jewelry pieces here too. This is from Snake Charmed Boutique. I think she has an Etsy store too. But these are just gorgeous. Look at the detail in this little snake. Little white snake ring. Look at how cute that is. Cool snake ring thing. She can make whatever. Got to check out the dart frogs too, and this booth has some really cool naturalistic planted vivariums set up on display as well. I really like this one with the big bromeliad in the center. That's really cool. So this will give you guys a little bit of an idea of what to expect in my planted vivariums that I'm planning for my fish room. I am so excited to start putting them together. Look at this. It's a little slice of the forest floor. This one is so cool. This is really different than anything I've ever seen. Pretty empty. Yeah. It's a he, actually. He. he. What is this? It's a, a bumblebee calico. Okay. That is so neat. Is it yeah. really unusual? I haven't seen anything like it before. You don't see a lot of this, do you, Marty? No, that's a pretty high white one. Yeah. Are they just not really in demand? Or? Uh, no, calicos are, we sell those all day long. Oh, really? Yeah, they're, most of them are just darker. I have another one down on the table you'll see, and it's darker okay. because it doesn't have the bumblebee in it, but the bumblebee really made it more white. Oh, okay. That's really unique. I uh -huh. love that. Look at these sugar gliders. Oh my gosh, so much energy. Yes, they do. <laughs> we, just, we just woke them up. I had them in pouches. And they normally sleep in pouches, but nobody could really see them. So we just switched them for the triangle corners for a little bit so Aww. that they could be out and about. Are they babies? They are. They're all eight to ten weeks old right Oh now. my gosh, they're How so young. Are. This is an adult male right here. <gasps> Oh wow, not much bigger. No, not much bigger at all. Oh, so cute. I've never seen these color types before. Is this yep, kind of unusual? Special, special genetics. So these awesome. two are both mosaic. So they have the big patches of white all over their body. Normally they would be like the mosaics with the dark gray with the black stripe, but mm -hmm. the gray would be their whole body. Okay, uh, yeah, and then I've seen that. This one down here is a platinum which okay. is a lighter silver color than, than normal. It's a recessive gene. Check out these hairless guinea pigs. So cute. They look like little baby grandpas, don't they? Hi, little baby grandpas. Some baby turtles. Lots of baby turtles. Oh, what do you have? <laughs> Aren't you um solid gold? Yes, boys? I am. Are you okay with being filmed? Yeah. That's okay. Right. What's your name? Giovanni. Giovanni. Awesome. What do you have? Did you just get this guy? No, I've had it for a while, but I figured I'd bring her. Hey, hi, though. Oh. She's a Savannah Monitor. Oh, Savannah Monitor. Wow. Do those get large? Yeah. Wow. They're one of the bigger monitors. She's so cool. So you just brought her yeah. the, to the show. Hi. Hi, pretty girl. Look at that tongue. Oh my gosh. She's awesome. Thank you. What is this spider called? It's a Colombian giant red leg. Oh my gosh. Or Megaflavita robustum, that's his Latin name. So it's fuzzy, but is this a tarantula or is it different? Oh, it is. Yeah, it is actually a tarantula. Species. Okay. Um, full size, you're looking about eight to nine inches. Oh wow. In diameter. So it's like only halfway grown. Yeah. Yep. Is it handleable? Not super handleable. It likes to kick hairs a lot, and what hairs does gets that in your mean? skin. It gets in your skin. It's itchy like fiberglass. Okay. Um, so it's like a defense mechanism. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like a fuzzy caterpillar. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look at all these tortoises, redfoot, leopards, sulcata. Oh my God. These are just little babies. You guys remember when I visited the Colonian Research Institute and. I picked up a large sulcata tortoise and how big that one was. These ones must be just little babies. Look at them. 
So it's easy for people to come to a show like this and see these little tortoises and think, oh, they can just live in a 20 gallon tank, not realizing that they get really big. Oh, look at how cute they are though. So I was just walking around and I met Daniela. Hey, and you have, a, you have a snake on your I shoe. Do. This is Cristal. Cristal, yeah. Ooh, what a pretty name. She's the cutest thing in the world. But these caught my eye because these are like little pizza trays. The, but they're feeding bowls for leopard geckos yeah, and things like that, geckos. right? Yeah, leopard geckos. We also do uh, crested geckos as well. So they're perfect for like your rapashi, your calcium. So they're yeah. so cute Thank too. You. Like, can you guys imagine a little leopard gecko <laughs> nomming off of this little pizza tray? <laughs> Adorable. And these are little worm holders. They have a an edge on them, a lip, so the worms can't crawl out. Those are really nifty. <laughs> And you got like the most creative, adorable little hides here. Oh, well, thanks. Mossy leaf tail gecko, those are so cool. They have tails that actually look like leaves to help them blend in when they're hiding up in the trees. Here's a Jackson's chameleon. I love these ones because they have the three horns on top of their head, like a little triceratops. They're adorable. And they're kind of nice because they also stay pretty small, especially compared to like a panther or a veiled chameleon. So they're maybe a little more manageable. They're so cool. I've been considering getting one of those because they're just so unique looking, but I also love the good old panther chameleon with all their bright colors. You guys, this show is packed. This is a very popular show. It's so, so cool to see so many people here interested in reptiles. I love it. So I've pretty much walked through the entire show now, and now I'm just going back to pick up a couple of the things that were on my list of things that I wanted to get for my enclosures for my animals. I'm looking for a cool piece of driftwood for one of my dark frog tanks, and a large water dish for some future tree frogs that I'm hoping to get. I found one of the best driftwood booths here, maybe the best driftwood booth here. This is Todd. Hello. And Spring, what's your company? Spring River Driftwood. Spring River Driftwood, and you collect all this yourself, I, I collect right? it all myself. So I was right. looking and you said the darker pieces would be better for a, for humid, a humid environment. Yeah, it's a very dense, uh, solid wood. What kind of wood is this? That is oak. This is oak, okay. Mm -hmm. I like this piece. And oh, I also have to show you guys, look at these tags. They are little actual wooden tags for wood pieces. Super clever. All right, I think I gotta get this piece. Cool. <laughs> what an awesome show, you guys. I went into this totally not knowing what to expect and I was blown away by how many people attended how many awesome animals there were here. I'm actually pretty bummed that I'm not coming home with a new animal, although I just got a new leopard gecko shipped to me yesterday, so I really shouldn't complain, and I got some awesome goodies for my animals. So, all in all, it was a good show. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for next week, and until then, stay gold. I just met Bailey here at the show, guys, and she I got, got a little red-eye croc skink. She's a little girl. She's only four months old. She's adorable.